Hello everyone, welcome to another Design Sim tutorial. Today we're going to look at a comic page template uh, that I've created in Adobe Illustrator. And you can download this template in the link below. Okay, let's get started. It's going to be a great day. Now, in the template I have on separate layers, the panel borders, Later, to put text, the balloons. Uh, text and balloons can be on the same layer, but I find it's easier to put the text in first and format that, and then do the balloons on a separate layer. Um, you put your line art if you're drawing in Illustrator on this layer. And you have your live area, your bleed area, your trim, and your perspective paths, which are these. And this is what I'm going to show you today. And here you put your scanned art, you can import that onto this layer um, and you can do your inking uh, based on that on the line art layer. Okay, now uh, I've grouped the perspective paths. So you also have your horizon line so that your left and right are connected. So let me just pull it back a little bit so you can see. Now, also before you use uh, the perspective paths. Uh, it's a good idea to lock everything else so nothing else moves. And now, uh, depending on which you want to use first, the left or the right, you can use that to put that where you need on your horizon line. So if you're working in this panel, your horizon line might be there. If you're working in that panel, your horizon line might be there. Uh, also depending on where your vanish point is going to be. So I'm not doing this now, but on the scan layer, you will have your pencil art. So you would kind of see what where your perspective is going to be. So you make this line up. Now once uh, you have one side line up, lined up, then you want to ungroup this. Uh, hold down the shift key slide this into place so it stays on the horizon line and then wherever this needs to be then you're set so you can lock your perspective paths and if you join lock let me just zoom in now this looks a little bit fuzzy but if your art is underneath this will make perfect sense for where you want your perspective guides to be. So that'll get you started on your perspective. Now let me show you how to get your panel borders done. So I'm going to unlock that layer. Now I have this here for you already, but let's get rid of that and create a new border so you can see Now let me just bring my guides back and you see you can kind of have a grid set up so you can do four panels, uh, six panels, two panels, um, whatever you desire to so kind of give you a starting point. So now let me draw the outline to the page and go here. So what I want to do is make a copy and then paste this. Now I'm going to just kind of paste in place. I kind of want to center this on my guideline here. And then select this. And I will go down to my transform tool, uh, Pathfinder. And I'm going to subtract the front. Okay, let me just get rid of the library so you can see what I've done. So now this is separate. Now what you have to do, now this is the only thing you have to do in Illustrator. Um, in Quark and in Design, you can go right to this without doing this step. But you have to do this step first in Illustrator. You have to ungroup. Okay, now put that back 
and we're going to flip this. Okay, so now I have that for there. Let me bring back my live area so I can see where I have my panel board is at. My guides, so to speak. Okay, so I'm gonna hold down the option key, make a copy of this, put that where I want, bring this down, put that where I want. And I wanna be sure these are in the front. So before I select, go to my Pathfinder tool, um, it will do what I expect it to do. So what I want to do is make a copy of both of these. Click one side of the panel and subtract. So you can see that's done in both. And I'm going to use Command F to put this right in place where I had it so it lines up. I'm not going to touch anything else except to select the right side of the border and then subtract that. And now you can see I have nice, clean, even borders that match. Now, you don't have to do it with that. So let me show you another configuration. Again, bring my dual border. I'm just going to get rid of my live art area. I'm just going to freestyle now. So I bring back my panel borders now. You can make panels any size. And you can configure this however you want. Now the main thing I like to do is to try to um, get the main uh, border done. So I'm considering this the main separation. Again, let me make sure that these are in front. Always best to do it just in case. So now I'm going to select the border, ungroup. So I'll select this, bring that to the front, copy it, select that. Make my next one. Now let me put this here. Now I'm gonna make another border, so I'll select that and subtract it. And now I've got another panel configuration. So let me just show you one more. Put my live area back. I make that live area visible so I can see it. Another border going here. Let me rotate this. I'll just leave that there. Put another border. And this time I rotate this by I. Okay, so now let me divide this panel. Let me ungroup it. Now make sure this is in the front. In the front. Add that. Subtract. And have another panel. So you can see there's a lot of variety, get a lot of evenness into your panels. And also, um, if you want to create a little guy here, you can create that in a different shape, like maybe in a, a S shape, and use that also. Okay, that's it for today. So you can find the links below to download uh, the template that you desire, um, because this technique works in Portrait Express and InDesign. The only thing you don't have to do is that extra step of ungrouping after you do the first um, subdivision of your panels. 
thanks for stopping by. So please remember to rate, share, and subscribe. And remember, just create. Bye.